Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to catch a stone journer in Pokemon Sword. Now the first and most reliable location is inside Route 10. You will need to find a section of grass that does not have any Mr. Mime or Sneasel nearby to harass you. Once you have found your spot, you will want to walk around looking for rustling grass encounters. Each encounter you get has a 2% chance to be a stone journer. 2% is a really really low chance so you could be here for a while, but there is also another area you can try for higher odds. This area is the Lake of Outrage during a sandstorm. Here we will again aim for rustling grass encounters, but this time we have a 5% chance to get a stone journer instead of 2%. However, I should warn you guys, there will be Excadrill everywhere in this area and they will always try to chase you down. Also, you will encounter Dugtrio 40% of the time in the Grass Encounters. Because Dugtrio can have the ability Arena Trap, you will need to either faint them, use a Smoke Ball, or use a Poke Doll to run away. If you don't mind that inconvenience for 2.5 times better odds, then this will be a better spot for you. Now to move on to actually catching Stone Turner. If you are on Route 10, you will have to be very careful while weakening him because of the constant chip damage from the hail. I would say the best thing to do here is to apply a status effect to Stone Journer and then just stop throwing Pokeballs. In the Lake of Outrage you don't have to worry about any damage from the weather. This means that you can weaken him as much as you would like and it will make catching Stone Journer in a specific Pokeball a lot easier. If you have Pokemon Shield version and want to catch an Askew, all of these locations and encounter rates are still the same. The only difference is inside the Lake of Outrage you will need a Snowstorm instead of a Sandstorm. And that is everything you need to know about catching Stonejourner in the wild. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.